Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to another episode of Eternum. I hope you guys are ready. We're going to pick up where we left off right after the photo shoot in the last episode. And it should be Ryan and Nova, because I think Penelope has already left. But uh, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into today's episode. Oh my god, she's super nice, right? My earlier memories of her were a bit blurry, but I do remember her being nice, even back then. She never fit the stereotype of a stuck-up popular teenage girl. I'll be honest, Ryan, at first you struck me as a complete bore, but you've really impressed me. First, I discovered that you were awarded a scholarship for having the top GPA at your European school. And then I found out that you won a video game development contest when you were only 14. And now I've come to learn that you're friends with Penelope too? Oh, did I mention that your taste in anime is amazing too? I've seen pretty much all the same shows on Netflix. That's a huge plus in my book. Stop hacking me. <laughs> Do you even know what privacy means? Oh, come on, Ryan. I thought we were past that already. I'm a hacker. I hack things. That's my thing. Would you ask an alcoholic to stop drinking? Um, yes? Anyways, there's a reason I'm here. I know how to find it. Find what? Calypso. No way. Already? Are you serious? I finished deploying my divergence malware. Now I can teleport you to any server you want. No need for invitations or a publicly accessible area. I just need the name of the server. That's amazing! Yeah, well, having both expensive programming and networking knowledge is out of reach for most people. That's why no one has been able to create something like this before. Luckily for you, I just happen to know the best hacker in the country. Uh, compliment her? Yeah, I'll compliment her. It'll be fine. She did a good job. She did something we needed her to. It's, uh, you know, the least I could do. Alright, you've outdone yourself yet again. Nova, you truly are incredible. Thank you. I have no idea how you're able to pull off such computer wizardry. How are you not a fedora-wearing neckbeard who lives in your mother's basement? <laughs> well, I do still live with my parents, but thank you. You said you were going to do something, and you did it. I'm impressed. Yes, I did. And how about how fast I did it? It only took me a few hours. <laughs> okay, yeah, and you were incredibly fast. I've never met a girl so hungry for praise, but honestly, you deserve every bit of it. Thank you. All right then, let's not waste any more time. Our clock is ticking. How so? The malware was able to use a zero-day BGP exploit to infect the AS on which the Eternum traffic primarily transverses. Mm-hmm. Through that exploit, it remotely accessed their external routers, which foolishly weren't utilizing OOB management, and then used CDP to find the IP address of the Layer 3 switch that hosts the servers. Uh-huh. It was able to SSH into it, execute the douche int stat command, and identify the Ogigia server. Then it finally established an encrypted tunnel to the server for us to utilize. Makes sense. Unfortunately, the entire exploit can only run so long before it's flagged and quarantined by the ISP's IPX. Mm, and in English, that means that we need to access the server within the next 30 minutes or the door will close forever. What? Why didn't you say that before? We would have had more time for it if you'd answered the phone when I called you. It's not my fault. Damn it. All right, well, we still have time, though. I'll run back home. What do we have to do? Just connect to Eternum and log into the public servers. I'll do the rest. Okay, uh, what about Alex? Can you call her? Sure, no worries. I'll let her know. I'll connect you both once you're online. Hurry up! Alright, I'll see you in a few. Later. Okay, let's do this. Let's get in it. We're about to go to the, uh, Ogiglio Gogligligla. A few minutes later. Um... Oh man, Ryan must have been running the whole way. Ryan, you're soaked. <sighs> Penny. Uh, yeah, I came running. From the studio? It's like five miles away and it's pouring outside. Yeah, uh, what time is it? 
4.15 p.m. Oh, thank God, I made it. I still have five minutes left. For what? So, something very important. The weapons of Atlas, uh, there are only three of them and... Never mind, it takes too long to explain. Look up that stuff and the Gems of Doom on Google. It'll come in handy when you play. <laughs> okay, okay, I will. I won't keep you any longer. Whatever you're up to, it must be pretty urgent. Thank you. I'll see you later. Have fun playing. Running upstairs. All right. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're in. We're getting in. Let's do it. Connected. That's fine. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up. Come on. Are we in? Are we there? Hello. All right. We're in. Oh, this is the main nexus. I remember this place from when I first connected to Internum. Hello, Ryan. Oh, Internum's AI. Oh, you'd be best not to mention anything regarding our intentions. Ulysses staff members are probably monitoring all conversations. Nova said that all I had to do was join a public server. Hi, it's nice to see you again. Idriel, right? That is correct. I see you haven't been invited to a server this time. You can either join one of Eternum's public servers or any of the servers that you've previously accessed. Hmm. Ion, Echabar, and the Red Herring. Those are all good places. You must know some experienced players. Yeah, I do. They've been helping me a lot. Are you enjoying your experience in Eternum so far, Ryan? Have you experienced anything remarkable? N no, everything's been uh, pretty quiet and relaxed. Well, if that is what you're looking for, you're doing it right. For sure. Why am I so anxious? She's just an AI. She's like any other NPC in a video game. She's incapable of judging me or accusing me of anything. She's probably talking to hundreds of other players simultaneously, doing whatever her programming dictates. And yet, I almost feel like I'm being interrogated. So, what's it gonna be? Ion? Echabar? No, I'll just join a public server this time. Maybe there I can score myself an invitation to a new server. You wish to visit a public server? Hmm. I'll send you to Agora. It's known as a central hub for players to meet each other and exchange invitations to other servers. I'm sure you might be able to find what you're looking for. Sounds perfect. Good. Enjoy your session. Is there anything else you'd like to know before you leave? Well, since you brought it up, I'd like to know the location of the remaining Gems of Doom. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't give you that information. Well, I assume so, but it was worth a try. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I'd ask you more things, but if you're going to keep saying that you can't give me the information, I'd prefer not to waste my time. <laughs> well, maybe you're not asking the right questions. Don't you think? Ryan? And she snapped her fingers, and we're off. To whatever world we're going to. Oh, what the f Hello? Am I dead? I might be dead. Alright, I think this is a perfect place to leave off. We're just now getting it into the game. I think there looked like there might have been a glitch, but I think I know what that is. But before we get any further into it, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. As always, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and make sure you check the links in the description if you want to further support the channel. That's it. That's all I got. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.